Hey there, it's Shauna. I hope you're doing good. This is your weekly astrology forecast for the week of August 29th. And this is a big week, I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be kind of intense, but I have lots of tips for you to really harness this energy. Uh, this week is all about healing and renewal and cleansing. And this week is really crazy because there's lots going on. We have Mercury going retrograde, and then we have a new moon and a solar eclipse, and this is all happening in the sign of Virgo. So uh, the cool thing is there's lots of opportunities this week to create instantaneous and sustainable change in your life. So this week there could be um, insights that you have or things that happen where it totally like changes everything or changes an aspect of your life and you're like, holy cow, I had no idea that that was coming. That's kind of the vibe of this whole week. And so what you can do that's empowering for you is to decide what it is that you want to do with this. You can decide how you want to use this energy and where in your life you need healing and cleansing and renewal. So uh, a few dates that I want you to mark on your calendar are Tuesday, August 30th. So this is when Mercury goes retrograde. And don't freak out. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I made a whole nother video about Mercury going retrograde and how it's actually a really amazing time to get things done and to move forward and most importantly to heal and to renew as well. So you can watch that. I'll have um, a link below in the description. But basically don't freak out. Your life is not fucked. You're totally cool. Like, like I would like for you to be an adult and a mature spiritual being about this and to actually use this energy in the way that it is intended. So um, I encourage you to um, watch that other video and to embrace that energy, especially if you feel like a little bit of tension around Mercury going retrograde or if you've had bad experiences in the past, that it will help you. <laughs> so Tuesday, that happens. The other date that I want you to mark on your calendar is Thursday, September 1st. And this is because we have a new moon and a solar eclipse in Virgo. And uh, so this is an important day because um, it's an eclipse number one. So eclipses always kind of shake things up a little bit. They're pivotal points in the year. They happen about twice a year. And eclipses come in varying different degrees. So some are um, a little bit mellow, not really a huge deal, and some are more intense when they're more exact. This one's a little intense. <laughs> so uh, an eclipse ha happens in astrology when a lunar cycle, either a new moon or a full moon, comes together with the north and south node. And the north and south node in astrology are like destiny points. They're like these points that indicate soul growth and soul evolution and soul maturation. And so when this happens, it's kind of like an amped up, freaking awesome, I almost said the F word again, really awesome <laughs> um, new moon or full moon. And so um, when this happens, it has a similar vibe of a new moon. So a new moon, there's new fresh energy, something new is coming in and um, you may have an insight or an idea or something that you want to create and that kind of like bubbles up during the new moon and then throughout the whole entire lunar cycle it comes into form and you move forward and it, and it, it becomes form. It's a creation of yours. It's something that comes out of yourself, out of your soul, your spirit, your heart and it comes out into the world. And so eclipses are similar but they're kind of amped up because there's something new that will come in and it's it's especially something new that's related to your soul evolving. It's related to you experiencing new things that are growth inducing for you. And this is especially so because this is in the sign of Virgo. And Virgo is all about self-improvement and bettering oneself. And Virgo is also about healing and cleansing and renewal as well. So um, with eclipses also something new that comes in it, it will be similar to the new moon where it's kind of like this thing where you're like, oh, like I have this idea or this insight or this, this new beginning. Maybe it's even like a new job or a new relationship or a new person that you meet. And um, it's kind of unknown a little bit. And, but there's like this feeling of it being special or important in some way. And then it will continue to evolve and take form and manifest over the next six months. So, 
I just want you to notice and to pay attention. And there are ways to harness this energy that I will share with you. So um, notice, um, especially this week in general, um, because the energy is kind of like an apex. So this week it's leading up to the the eclipse on Thursday and then it kind of wanes down so I would just notice like what happens this week if there's anything like interesting or synchronistic that happens or anything that just kind of like jars your attention where you're like oh like that was really interesting or weird um, or new things coming in so uh, this is all around Virgo themes as well uh, so this eclipse and this lunar cycle in particular is really about again I said it, <laughs> healing and cleansing and renewal and this is really about your energy management how you manage your personal energy, how you manage your emotional energy and having healthy boundaries with that, having healthy ways to cleanse your energy system and, um, and creating healthy boundaries with other people's energy and not taking on other people's stuff so I would just notice anything themes that come up around that as well. That can be something as simple as just feeling like tired when you're around certain people and being like, oh, like I took on a lot of their stuff, like they were in a bad mood or whatever, and now I'm I'm feeling that. So that's like an energy management issue. That's a need to cleanse your energy or to have healthier boundaries and that kind of thing. So it can just be simple stuff like that. So I just notice what happens, what you're feeling. Um, so. I have some tips for you for this week. <laughs> so tip number one is to hardcore cleanse in whatever way feels good to you. So this can be doing like a little mini detox diet, especially um, before Thursday leading up to Thursday. Um, this can be cleansing your home, this can be doing sage and palo santo and crystals and all of that stuff. Um, it can even just be doing a specific cleansing meditation. So that's tip number one cleanse some shizzle this week. It's going to feel really good. <laughs> um, tip number two is to notice boundaries in your life. So when do you say yes? When you don't want to say yes? When do you say no? When you feel and then you feel like guilty for saying no? I would just like notice. Um, do you do things and then you feel guilty about doing them or do you do things that you don't really want to do because you feel bad in some way? So that's all energy management and boundaries kind of stuff. So again, like um, you don't need to change anything this week. I would just notice what that feels like for you. <laughs> um, and then the third thing this week is to do some type of ritual. So um, we love doing rituals on the new moon. If you know me at all, you know that's my jam. Um, and it doesn't have to be on the new moon, but I would um, suggest highly doing some type of ritual where you decide what it is that you would like to improve in your life and this is really important because this is all Virgo stuff so Mercury is retrograde in Virgo, New Moon is in Virgo, Solar Eclipse is in Virgo North Node is in Virgo so Virgo is all about taking something apart and making it better and so uh, that's what the universe is asking you to do this month is to reflect and to look at your life and to say okay um, I can love myself now, but where do I want to be better? What do I want to improve upon? And um, so for that reason, and because of all the things I've talked about with energy management, the new moon ritual that I'm doing that's the, the online, um, the audio ritual, is going to be a little bit different this month. So um, I'll have a link with all of the details below. But since this um, month is so much about energy management and clearing your energy and Mercury is going retrograde, I decided to do it a little bit different. So this one, it will be less about um, like breaking down the, um, the analytical details of this new moon and it's going to be more about giving you tools to clear your energy and to manage your energy. And um, I've just been thinking about this a lot, and this is going to be really helpful for you, um, especially if you're a very sensitive person and you feel sensitive with the lunar cycles or you feel sensitive with other people's energy if you're intuitive in any way. Um, I have some resources that I want to share with you, just some fun, easy tips and tools and tricks that I've learned. Um, over the years for my teachers that have been really helpful and it's easy and fun stuff um, but it's so helpful and I think that especially this is like this is the time to focus on that because of all of this Virgo energy and because of the eclipse and because of Mercury retrograde um, 
the, the, the wiser that you can use your energy during this period, um, the, the stronger that you can be and the more that you can actually heal. And it's actually empowering. So you can even be like more intuitive and more sensitive and more compassionate when you have these healthy management, um, energy management um, techniques and tools. So, <laughs> so I'm excited to share that with you. So, um, so that's it. So cleanse, boundaries, know them, love them, do them, have them, <laughs> and do some kind of ritual. Whether you do something with me or you do something on your own, ritual is an amazing tool this month to really like, whew, like harness, focus this energy and to bring it into your life in a way that feels really good. So I'm wishing you an amazing week and sending you lots and lots of love and just wishing you an amazing new moon. Namaste. Mwah. Mm-hmm. <laughs>